In this video, we'll talk about the while loop. And the while loop uh, has important thing as a condition at the beginning. So you see the condition here. This condition control the loop. So the loop will continue going on and on while that condition is true. And it's important that the condition is placed at the beginning of the loop. We have another loop later we'll discuss called do while where the condition at the end of the loop. We will see the differences between the two later. So the condition is at the beginning of the loop. And the while loop is widely used for going through database records. Later when you study um, server-side technology where you read data from a database, you display it on, on a web page or on app, you will notice that you will have a record and the record has a list of, uh, of uh, data like for example student record with student ID name and program and this is a long, long list of, uh, of data so the while loop is good to go through that one one by one take the first student record then move to the second student record until the end of, of the record the way it works now, if the condition is true, this loop will continue going on. For example, while, while I am not at the end of the, of the record, read the next record until you reach the end, something like that. We will see an example and, and you will understand this. So the loop will continue going on, on while that condition is true. Once the condition is false, it goes outside the loop and continue the program so that where it uh, it goes uh, outside the loop and continue the program if it is false if the condition is false now look at this example very basic example which we have i know it's a basic but to illustrate the concept because if you understand those basic uh, examples you can build on it and come with some more uh, interesting uh, idea so in this one we're declaring a variable called x and we're giving it the value zero the yellow part here will be the what's in the computer memory and what will be displayed sometime on the screen so in this case the x will have the value zero in the computer memory we'll come to the loop and the while here said while x is less than four of course zero is less than four so the, the answer here is true the answer is true it goes inside the loop and now display on the screen x equal zero because x is zero then goes to the next line and this line we increasing x by one so x now is what is one in the computer memory it goes to the uh, curly brace which uh, the end of the loop it send it back to the while yeah now the while will check while x less than four we know x is one so one is less than four it's true it prints one and then increase x by one become two and now check x x two and check the condition yes it's true two is less than four now you're getting the idea then it display two and then increase x by 1 x is 3 and goes back here and check is 3 less than 4 yes true and then print 3 and then increase x by 1 it becomes 4 now see the magic here when it goes back to the while loop the while loop now is false because 4 is not less than 4 4 is equal to 4 the condition is saying x less than 4 and x here is 4 as you remember is 4 less than 4 no so the answer is no so it jump outside the loop and then continue the program so that how how it, it works so the while loop continue while the condition is true as soon as the condition is false it ignores everything inside the loop and go outside the loop and continue the program. 
So I hope uh, this made it uh, clear. We will see some examples in live code and we will do some uh, experiment with it. Thank you.